which is uh, stays a big place in my heart every year. I've been up here many years, got same our many of our same old comrades, and I do say old now because we're all in that category. <laughs> Welcome, comrades. This day is scarred with the almost visible presence of those who have gone before us. We honor the memory of those who gave their lives in the service of our country and of those others who have dropped their burdens by the wayside of life and have gone to their internal rest. May the ceremonies of today deepen your reverence for our dead. Let us renew our pledge of loyalty to our country and flag. Let us resolve by word and deed to emphasize the privilege and duty of patriotism. I will ask my chaplain to come up and give the opening prayer. Please bow your heads and join with me in the spirit of prayer. Heavenly Father, giver of all victories, we thank thee for the opportunities which abide in our land, for thy guidance in thy hour of peril, and thy tender love in time of need. Help us to remember with reverence the valor and devotion of our departed comrades, not only those whose bodies consecrate our country's soil, but also those who sleep beyond the seas and those whose resting places will be unknown until the last day when the depth will have given up its dead. O oh God, teach us to honor them by ever cherishing the ideals for which they fought. Keep us steadfast in the cause of human rights and liberties, of law and order and true Americanism. Keep us forever firm in righteousness, humble of heart, and unselfish in purpose. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. We will now have the playing of our national anthem. Please join me and pay the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, I would like to introduce our Honorable Mayor, Terry Brinkett. and thank you all for joining us. I'm honored to be with you today. I'd like to thank Lieutenant Colonel Dudley and Captain Bulanda, and I apologize if I butchered your names, from the 179th, who helped me uh, line up the flyover for today. He, they also helped me line up a flyover for the 4th of July. Uh, that the, We'll have our own Belleville residents from the um, 179th. We'll be flying their own 130s for the 4th of July as well. But today we have the F-16 Stingers out of the Toledo, the 180th uh, Fighter Wing. The paperwork took over a year for them uh, to 
It took over th them for over a year to get it taken care of. And we finally got an approval about a month ago from the Pentagon. So I appreciate, um, I'd like to thank the, the gentleman very much for their assistance in making today very special. Today we honor our soldiers as we officially dedicate our flag memorial. This was a collaborative effort by the following organizations, companies, and residents. Please come and stand beside me when I call your company or organization. From the AMFETS, I have Commander Art Stewart. Is he here today? Okay. Uh, actually, the AMFETS covered the lights, the poles, concrete, and the plaques, and the flags as well. So I'd like to thank them for contributing uh, the majority of the funds that cover this. Also, K.E. McCartney & Associates, Kenny and Brian McCartney, they actually did all the design work that, that um, put this all together. Also, Terra Valley Excavating, Rob, uh, Ralph Robinson, from uh, he did all the excavation work for us. <laughs> Lasting Impressions Concrete. Um, Phil Wharton was the mastermind behind uh, the majority of this project. And everything I threw at Phil, he was uh, um, on point and made it happen. So thank you so much, Phil. Mortz and Lexington Concrete donated a good portion of the concrete. So Adam Mortz. Decocrete um, donated the compass stamp that you're going to find here in the center of the monument. They also did all the uh, coloring for the entire patio. Uh, this is nothing new to Decocrete. They have a huge heart for veterans. They have a program called Patios for Patriots, where they install a few patios a year for veterans, and they wanted me to help get the word out about that. So if you have an interest, certainly contact Decocrete, but they covered all of that for us as well. Lloyd's Rebar from Shelby donated all the rebar, rebar for our, our memorial. We also had Palmer Enterprises, uh, Scotty Palmer donated all the electrical boring services and supplies needed in honor of his grandfather, Roger Moss, who served in the Army and is buried right here in our cemetery. Then we need wire, lots of wire, to go all the way back to that maintenance building. And uh, we were way over budget at that point. So we had the Gill and Sharon Sellers family stepped in to cover the cost on all the wiring needed for this flag memorial so it can be lit 24-7. All of the electrical all the electrical work was donated by volunteers from our local electricians union, the IBEW, uh, Jeff Weichel, Alan Freeman, Tori Gorka, and Carl Nutzling. And again, I'm sorry if I butchered up your names. <laughs> I believe um, they are all here from the Clear Fork Valley. Is that correct? Uh, most of us are here. Yes. Okay. They all pitched in and make sure that uh, everything worked properly. Thank you so much. Uh, Gray Bar, Brent McKenna, uh, they discounted the lights incredibly for us. Um, Liberty Lawn Care and Landscape, which is uh, Jim Conrad, Isaac Freeman, along with his children, believe it or not, Lance, Parker, and Willow, who pitched in to add the finishing touches that um, the flag memorial looks so beautiful today because of. So thank you so much, especially to the kids for helping out. I think that's something they'll always remember. Last but not least, our fabulous uh, Village of Belleville um, crew for the removal of the old and installing the, the poles and hanging of the flags. Our Village Administrator Larry Wyrick for making sure everything kept moving along and 100% of this project has been covered through donations. On behalf of the every resident in the Village of Belleville, thank you to everyone who gave their time and talents to this incredible flag memorial that honors all the brave men and women who serve, and especially for those who have served our country. I encourage ev each and every soldier to use this space that was created just for you. We will be adding more benches for you to come and sit and reconnect to the soldiers that you serve beside and miss so dearly. Ashland Monument was going to engrave the center of the memorial, but deci we decided to go with bronze plates instead to match these incredible uh, military plaques that the Invets brought to us to put in the monument. So on the front plate, which I guess it takes like two months for you to get a bronze plate, so unfortunately those will be added after the fact. The front plate, uh, the Invets selected the, the wording, in honor of those who served, all gave some, some gave all. 
As for the bronze plaque on the back, notice that the center of the memorial has a four-foot compass. And again, that's thanks to Mr. Wharton. He was on board with everything I said. He was very flexible with any idea or suggestion we came up with, which ties directly into the back plate. The back plate will state, they found their way home. AMVETS 2019 will also be on that plaque. For those who haven't made it home, we will continuously fly the POW flag as we all pray for their return. This is truly a beautiful area here in the cemetery. And we all should be very glad and grateful that we have this facility to use. Uh, at this time, I would like to uh, take pleasure in introducing a person. He's a WW2, Wilbur Stribe, in the Army, 94 years old. I also would like to introduce the Parade Marshal, which is one of our members and good comrades, Harry Walsall. Thank you, gentlemen. And now at this time, it gives me great pleasure to introduce you to an old friend and a guy who is very dedicated, Colonel Gary McHugh. Would you come forward and I'd like to have you say a few words for us. Good morning. How fitting to come out here and uh, pay tribute to those that gave the ultimate sacrifice. Uh, it's a great town. You guys put on a great event. Some folks uh, just came out to see Dad wear a funny hat. <laughs> in World War II, we had a mass mobilization. It's the largest in our nation's history because our population was the largest. So although the Civil War uh, saw many more killed, the reason was is that it was our states fighting our states. But for World War II, more troops were mobilized than any time in our nation's history, about 12%. By the time Korea and then Vietnam came around, that dipped around 3 to 4%. Because the draft was on. You would be drafted, you could be drafted, and you served your time. The draft ended in the mid-70s, so a lot of folks in this crowd remember that. At that point, we dipped about 2% of our nation's population were in uniform. After the first Gulf War, it hovered around 1.8 to 2%. At the start of this current conflict, we were just below 1%. And today, even though our nation's population rises, we are at 0.04%, so less than one half of 1% of our nation, our population, wears a uniform. So how can we do this? We do it through volunteerism, because as I said, we no longer have a draft. And that's a good thing. We also do it because of technology. <coughs> so young folks that get in, like our daughter, Josie, who's in basic training as I speak. We'll go down at the end of June and watch her graduate. She's a volunteer and she joined up. Also in the crowd, amongst many others I know, but David Waymiller, one of the Air Force's newest second lieutenants, just graduated and he's gonna head off to pilot training. He joined out here at the 179th Airlift Wing, and he was enlisted, but now he's an officer. So these two individuals know exactly what they're getting into. Granted, they come from military families, but they also come from military communities, and I count this as a military community because of events like this. It's very important that we pay tribute to those that have lost their lives and to the purple, or I'm sorry, to the Gold Star families who remain 
and who remember. Because of technology, we don't need as many folks in our military, and that's a good thing. The youth of today are some of the smartest, some of the most squared away folks I've ever encountered in my 36 years. When you hear disparaging things about this next generation in the media, it is fake news, I guarantee you. These kids today are something else, and I'm more than honored to help pass the baton. Thanks for coming out today. Thanks to Larry and your crew for putting on such a great event. May God bless you, your friends, and your family, and may God bless the United States of America. Thank you. We will now have the placing of the reef by Miss Poppy, assisted by one of our comrades, Paul Brown. These flowers may wither, but the spirit of which they are the symbol will endure until the end of time. Can I now have my unit post, take your post up here to the flag? We will now, by the Clearport Band, will play tribute to veterans of all wars. First will be the Army. I'm sorry, the Navy. Coast Guard. Air Force.
Greens. Again, our nation has assembled to honor its heroic dead. A thousand battles of land and sea and air echo the glory of their violent deeds. Under the quiet sod or beneath the murmuring waves, their bodies sleep in peace. But the destinies of veterans, their souls go marching on. Because of them, our lives are free. Because of them, our nation's free. We recall the things they did. The hero host seems mighty in our midst. When apparel threatened and their country called with that divine sacrifice, they left their pass of peace to spring to arms, to make their, their breast a barricade against the nation's foes. No sorrow for the loved ones left behind could dim the purpose of their souls. No weariness of march and watch could keep them from heart's desire. No honor of the field or sea or air could beat their courage down. Comrades, on this Memorial Day, let us pledge ourselves anew to patriotic service. Let us make ourselves the friend and brother, son and father of those who will not see their own again in mortal flesh. Let us grasp with fearless hands the flag so nobly born before, and like those others, planted always on the battlements of righteousness. Let us stand with bowed heads in solemn memory of our heroic dead. Please join me. We will now pay tribute to the fallen.
I want to thank all of you for coming out today. I also want to thank all of our comrades who participated in this very glorious display of comradeship. And on the, on the event when you're leaving, I want you to be careful. Let some of these uh, our floats get out, our guys with the trailers. Thank everybody from attending and the mayor. I got one. Oh, I, I apologize. I apologize. I got one more thing that you guys got to listen to this before I dismiss you. I'll let this. Uh, I'll let this be a surprise to you. Thank you, thank you very much. Again, I want to thank you all for coming out. God bless you and God bless America. Have a safe and happy week and a weekend.